recently, Rebecca, who is one of my subscribers and Patreon supporters, asked if I could make a video about how to get involved in fandoms. I have a lot of experience with this since I've been making friends in various fandoms since I was 12 years old. So I thought that I would share some of the ways that I've gotten involved over the years. Also, before I get started, if any of you guys are nerd fighters or fans of The Fault in Our Stars, I wrote a song inspired by the book and I released it last week in case you missed it. The song is called Math and it's available on both iTunes and Bandcamp. I also released a brand new t-shirt which features some of the art that I did for the single cover. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out the video description for more information on how you can buy the song and the shirt. Now the way I see it, there are two major strategies for how you can get involved in a fandom. The first one is to go to them, and the second one is to have them come to you. Let's start off with some ways you can go to them. To find online communities, look for forums, chat rooms, or Facebook groups where other fans are discussing the fandom that you want to be a part of and join them. These communities can vary in size and personality, so you may have to keep trying in order to find one that fits you best. Don't get discouraged if people are unresponsive or even unfriendly. It just means that you might have to find another site where you feel comfortable and welcomed. You could even start your own. You can also search on social media sites to see if anybody's posting about your topic or making content inspired by it and respond to them. Sometimes people respond, sometimes they don't, but you have a much better chance of making fandom friends if you try. You can also get involved in fandoms in person at fan conferences, meetups, or even fandom-themed concerts. While it can be hard to approach strangers and start conversations, that it's a little bit easier when you already know that everybody around you has something in common. Also, people at conferences often wear merchandise displaying their fandoms, so that could be a great conversation starter. It's possible that not everyone you talk to will be receptive to making new friends, but just kind of having little conversations with people all weekend long will definitely open you up to meeting people who love the same things you do. And you don't have to go in knowing anybody to have a great time at a fan conference. Sometimes, even when I go to a conference expecting to hang out with a bunch of my friends, I end up meeting a whole bunch of new people and hanging out with them most of the time instead. This summer, I'll be going to both LeakyCon and VidCon, which I am really excited about. Just in case this isn't already obvious, be safe, use your instincts in situations like this. Strategy number two is to have them come to you. Create things inspired by that fandom and put them where people who also love those things can find them. Whatever your talents are, use them. Make fan art, write fan fiction, start a blog, make YouTube videos, write music, or really anything. Fans tend to look for things like this or even just stumble upon them and they might find yours. That can be a great way for you to make friends with similar interests. And you could even gain some recognition, which would provide you with a lot more opportunities to get involved. This can take a lot of patience since the internet is a really big place. But this step has worked well for me, especially because I sometimes have trouble starting conversations with new people, but now people come to me because they liked something I created. Like with anything, you can try any combination of these things and see what works best for you. Being part of a fandom can be so fun and you can meet some of the greatest people ever. It also feels nice to be accepted for who you are and I had a really hard time finding people who encouraged me to be myself before I discovered online fandom. If you're part of any fandoms, how did you start getting involved with them? Do you have any tips for people who want to get more involved? Thanks for the awesome video idea, Rebecca. I'll see you all again soon.